Alright guys, I am back. Welcome back to Terraria. I don't know, is this the beginning of a video or what? I don't know. But I just killed... Boom, Titan Glove, finally, jeez. I just killed a, uh, a Mimic just a moment ago. I've been down here in the underworld for who knows how long. Trying to find a Mimic, trying to kill one. Because remember, we've been trying to make like this Power Glove thing. But, well, we haven't really been trying to make it, but uh, you know, it's been kind of in the back of our mind. Like, oh man, I should definitely make it, but like... We never got this, like, Titan Glove thing, which only drops from Mimics. I haven't really went out of my way to come down here and try and find Mimics. Check the, you know, look at that. We got some, uh, whatever that red stuff was. Uh, but yeah, I finally came down here, went out of my way. Oh, man, there's a turtle over there, too. I might be able to get a turtle shell. Get a turtle shell from that? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think, man. Well, I do need, like, how many turtle shells? A lot of them. If I want to get a turtle armor and then upgrade that, like, beetle husk armor or whatever it's called, so... Yeah, that, that's pretty expensive if I want to do that. I did also think about, uh, you guys know my base over, or not really my base, but uh, this thing over here, my Chlorophyte farm. You know, we always get a lot of creatures spawning in and then like walking at the top of it. I was thinking like, what if I did basically the same thing, but over here, where I like hollow out a big area and that would lead, and then, you know, maybe a lot of creatures would like gravitate towards the open area and then it, it, we could basically make like a farm to hopefully kill a bunch of turtle guys. You know, hopefully get a uh, turtle armor from, you know, turtle shells from them so we can make turtle armor, so. Yeah, that's definitely something I'm thinking about. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in time to, you know, do the Moon Lord and Metal, or what. Uh, but yeah, I just basically came down here to try and find Mimics. And yeah, thankfully it says over there, Rare Creatures Nearby thing, it says uh, that Mimics are on that, so that's good. Let's go back home now, and let's try and make the second Power Armor thing, because I've been wanting to, or, uh, Power Glove thing. Because I've been wanting to make one for a long time. And we've never been able to make one until now, so... Okay, there you go, Power Glove. Increases melee knockback, increases melee speed, so that's going to help us out a ton. Enables auto- oh, yep, yeah, auto swing for melee weapons, so yeah. I guess if, uh... There it is right there, the Murderous Kaleidoscope. That thing is not auto swing, I assume it turns into auto swing if I have this thing equipped. And I think I'm able to combine this thing together with... Is it this? The Destroyer Emblem? Or... Some other emblem. I think I have to turn this into... Hold on. I might be confusing something right now. Is that supposed to be... Hold on. This one right here. Am I able to turn this into... Hold on, is this an upgraded version of something? I guess it is. Ooh. Because I need to turn... I'm getting really confused right now. I need to go see if I have any more accessories. That might be... Let's go to accessories. There you go. Let's see. Okay, so we have this magma stone thing. I do know from looking at the heckin' wiki for who knows how long. But I combine that together with one of those hand things. And that makes, uh, like, like, everything catch on fire. Which I'm like, we already get done with the solar eruption up there, so don't need to worry about that. But, oh man, I'm so confused. Where is, oh yeah, like this. Like a warrior emblem. But you combine that together with something else, and then it turns into like a red version of that, right? Hold on, where did the guide go? I probably should have wrote, written all this down. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Avenger Emblem. So where is this Destroyer Emblem at? Is that what this is? But it's just a... I guess it is. Guess I never upgraded it then, huh? So 10% and then 12% increased damage. Okay, so... Why am I not able to turn this into... The Avenger Emblem? Soul of Might, Soul of Sight, Soul of Fright. Just five of each of those. We should be able to do that. I thought... Don't we already have a... That red one? I... Guess not. Let's go to more accessories. Yeah, we have another one right here, Warrior Emblem. 50, oh jeez, 50% increased damage. I might want to consider getting one of these or something like that, you guys, golly. Uh, oh yeah, and then cross net. Yeah, definitely want to get these for boss battles. Increase the length of invisibility, so we get more invincibility frames whenever we take damage. And this is really good for boss battles, so definitely want to remember to take that when we do the Moon Lord. But I think we combine this, Feral Claws, together with the Titan Glove, that gives us the Power Glove. And then we'll definitely want to do that, but let's see. I need to go over here and get Soul of Sight, five of those. Soul of Fright, five of those. Soul of Might, five of those. Then we can come over here to somewhere. I don't know which one. Here you go, here you go. Okay, so we can make the Power Glove. We can make the Avenger Emblem here in just a moment. Power Glove, boom, got it. Avenger Emblem, boom, got it. 12% increased damage. Mechanical Glove, that's it, that's it. So now we can make this, 12% increased melee damage, weapon speed, and enables auto swing, and increases the size of melee weapons. Ooh, that sounds good. 
like for melee, that works out really well, you guys, because we'll have a, a bigger weapon to hit things with. Let's do it. Mechanical glove. And that's going to, is that going to replace this destroyer emblem? I still don't know. Where, where is this destroyer? I need, I'm going to look it up. I'm so curious right now. Like, what is this destroyer? Why can I not make a thing out of it, though? Hold on. Ooh, okay, so the Destroyer Emblem was upgraded from the Avenger Emblem. It's just that I combined it together with an Eye of Golem, I guess. And that's how I got it. Okay. So what, what, what did the Eye of Golem do again? That uh, combined together with that one? Increased Critical Strike. Really? I did that? Why did I do that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's honestly, that's kind of dumb. But then again, we're at 10% increased damage with a plus 3%, so it's up to 13% right there. That's not too bad. So if we combine these together with the Mechanical Glove... Boom, and then replace that. And then I think, is it the mechanical glove that we combined together with that red, uh... Or that magma stone, I think it was called? Or is it? Here it is, right here. Yeah, magma stone. I think we combined it together with that. Boom, fire gauntlet, yep. So it increases melee knockback. Melee attacks inflict fire damage now, yep. 12% increased melee damage and speed. Enables auto swing for melee weapons and increases the size of melee weapons. Let's do it, boom, fire gauntlet. Brisk fire gauntlet. Yeah, I'm going to be reforging that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anything good out of this. Where's our, uh, where's the guy at over here? I don't know. Oh, there he is right there. He's hiding behind the Christmas, or in front of the Christmas tree. Let's give him, uh, there you go. We have 21, yeah, we still have 21 platinum right now. So let's do reforge. Quick, ooh, I'm not liking that. Rash. I'm like, that's melee speed up right there, but I'm like 12 gold every time we're spiked. So we're at the 14 damage now. You know what? I might I might just keep that right there. I might just keep that. So we're at the 14% melee damage, 12% melee speed, auto swing for us. So yeah, I definitely want to test that out. So I guess we'll put this thing up and that'll... Uh, oh yeah, I already have a, a necklace right there. So what does Squire's shield do? Increases max number of sentries and increase minion damage. Eh. This one grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks. Do I need that? Doesn't this basically... Immunity to fire blocks. Yeah, I could walk on lava and immunity to fire blocks for seven seconds. This one's like straight up immunity to fire blocks. Like it doesn't run out, I guess. Huh. I don't know. These seem a little bit redundant. Like I might be able to get rid of the obsidian shield in place of like maybe putting the hard necklace or uh, hard cross necklace there, you know? Then the stinger. What did that do again? Oh, yeah. Releases B. Yeah, okay. Whenever we take damage, it releases B. I need to replace those. It's like outdated now, honestly. So yeah, let's let, let's put up the destroyer emblem over here in the accessories. Boom. Oh yeah, look at all the feral claws we have now, you guys. It's crazy. So am I able to upgrade this anymore? No. It is not upgradable and it's not a material. So that's good that I fully upgrade that now. So that's awesome. I love that. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I killed a plantera. <laughs> Again. So that's why I got like random plantera stuff on my inventory. So boom, there you go. Mud blocks and a giant bat banner. I guess I could sell that, sure. Oh yeah, uh Ted. I don't remember his name being Ted. <laughs> Oh, but uh, let's see. There you go, giant bat banner. There was an armor over here that's not squat. That we have uh, no, we have Val Valhalla's uh, whatever. There is an armor over here. Yeah, this Shinobi Infiltrator increases your max number of sentries by two and increases twenty percent melee and minion damage. This one's twenty percent increased uh, minion damage and melee speed, so probably don't want the uh, torso. Twenty six defense though. Oh, it's a little bit more than... Oh, man. Maybe I do want to get a full uh, set of this. Well, then again, the Greaves are at 24 defense. This is at 18. But you guys did say, hey, don't purely look at defense. Because these, these other stats can make up for that. So, 20% increased minion damage and melee critical strike. Jeez. Then 30% increased movement speed. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about the helmet. Don't we have like 115 or something like that defender medals? I might be able to just get that. But, of course, if I do that, that means... Oh, we only have 36. Ooh, I must have spent some. But I think if I do one more uh, attorney, I, I'll have to do that off camera. Actually, you know what? Did I ever do one on camera with our our, our Valhalla's knights, whatever? With like the increased ballista and all that? I don't know if I ever did that. I guess I'll do one on camera if I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah, but the defense on this one goes down a lot. 20 defense on the Valhalla knight's helm. You just max number of sentries by two, increase minion and melee damage by 10%. Then, of course, our set bonus for having all Valhalla Knight armor means uh, we have increased ballista effectiveness. So the ballistas do that much more. Like, if I take this off and look at the ballista, 286 summon damage right now. Take that off. Uh, oh, it's down to 270, so it's not even that much higher. Huh. Well, the minion... Oh, man, hold on. The minion damage didn't even... I don't know. It doesn't... Hold on. Yeah, that doesn't... 
Is that the 10% that's making it go up to 286? Or is that the, uh... I don't think that's the Ballista bonus. If it is, then I'm not... It says greatly enhanced the Ballista effectiveness. I don't know what that means specifically. I think I looked that up one time and I must have forgot. <laughs> but, yeah, I definitely want to get the Shinobi Infiltrator's helmet, you guys. Definitely want to get that. Because it increases sentries by 2, just like this, which is good. But this one only increases minion and melee damage by 10%. This one does it by 20%, but of course the defense is halved. But that's probably not going to be that big of a deal, especially right now we have 81 defense. We might be able, we should be able to make up for that, right? Go down to 71 defense, but we do 10% more hacking melee damage, and our minions do that much more damage, and that probably makes up for the uh, Ballista effectiveness uh, set bonus going away. I definitely want to try and get it, you guys. Let's do, oh, oh and uh, another helmet. Uh, if I look at my notes here, where was it on this? Did I even write? Oh, yeah. The Chlorophyte Mask. 20 defense, 16% increased melee damage. So we're kind of meeting in the middle there. And then 6% increased melee critical strike. So we also lose the ballista effectiveness thing there. But we gain 6% melee damage. Uh, melee critical. This one doesn't do melee critical, but this one, it would go up by 6% increased melee critical strike chance. And then, of course, we'd have the same defense. So I don't know. It's kind of, I'm torn between. Do we make the chlorophyte? How much is that? Oh, I never wrote down how much it was. Man, I guess I'll just get a bunch of Chlorify Ore, because I just, I assume you just get a bunch of those. <laughs> and then you're good. Yeah, the Shroom I didn't call. Yeah, you guys did say, yeah, that's like the fastest uh, mining thing in the game. So how much do we need? Like, I don't know. Like Usually you need like 30 or something like that for... Yeah, there it is right there. Chlorify Mask. Yep, there it is. Twin Defense, 16% increased melee damage. Do I have this already? I feel like I might have already made this. Let me go check. Armor. Oh, yeah, I've already got it. So do I... Wait, why do I have a full set? Did I ever use this? I don't know if I ever did. But I'm glad that I checked over here. Yeah, we already have that. So do I want to have the 6% increase melee damage and then the 6% increase melee critical strike chance? But of course, we have no extra sentries, which they help out a ton during the boss battles, right? You know, look at that. Almost 300 damage every time. Ah, oh, man, if I could get if I could get four of them right now. So, you know, that's that's basically a thousand twelve hundred damage like every second or something like that. Every time they shoot and they actually hit the enemy. And of course, it's able to go through enemies and stuff like that, too. I don't know. See, I'm so conflicted here. Like, what do I do? <laughs> right, man. Man, I don't know what to do, you guys, but I think I'm going to at least get the Shinobi armor. Maybe we'll test out the DPS of them over here and I'll, I'll figure out. OK. This solar eruption does this much DPS, like with the increased critical strike and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll decide, do I use Valhalla Knight's helm? Do I use Shinobi helmet? Do I use Chlorophyte helmet? I guess I'll just have to test it out and figure out that way, you guys. Here you go, Defender Metals. OK, that should be good. Then what do we have? Godly Flame Burst Staff, Explosive Aura. I guess we'll use the Lightning Aura and the explosive then yeah that's a staff they're all staffs this is a staff right yep that's a staff so they're all staffs up there which is good i might just ignore the godly flame burst maybe I'm like i could mix everything in right like i don't need everything to be the same right uh might want to keep the murderous kaleidoscope just because hey why not right so that sounds good the magic mirror we could put that up i guess there you go so let's see ballista let's put that here Let's put the Lightning Aura Staff there, Ballista here, Explosive there, and then Flame Burst there. That should be good. All right, let's do that then. Let's let's buy, uh, here you go. Let's buy an Eternia. Let's buy two of them just in case I need more. Because I think, I don't know how many you get from one battle, but we need to get about, what? How much does that cost again? 75 Defender Medals? Yeah, we need to get about 39 more of those. So hopefully we'll be able to get that from just one battle there. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, let's just go up there and let's go do it. Let's get our uh, sharpening. Let's get our bewitching table. Do we have a... Yeah, we've, we've got two aliens right now, so that's good. Oh, yeah, then I wanted to test this thing out a little bit, so let's do that there. Then, uh... Let's go over here. Here it is right here. Eternia crystal. And then, boom. So there we go. Guess we'll get uh, one ballista staff. Let's put that, like, right here, I suppose. Like, in the middle-ish. So there we go. We got that going right there. Oh, yeah, then we had the we, we had the rainbow gun last time. And, yeah, we didn't have the aliens last time either. So yeah, this is definitely helping out a ton. Oh my god, yeah, look at this, auto swing now. This was not auto swing before, it is auto swing now, holy heck. This is good stuff, because this does a lot of damage in a huge area. 
Man, I might not even need anything, you guys. Holy, look at these little little enemies over here, these little goblins. Yeah, they're going down easy peasy, no problem. I'm even able to, look at that. Yeah, doesn't it make melee weapons a little bit bigger as well? The, uh, the, 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 the power, the mechanical glove or whatever it's called? I think it does. So yeah, this has like huge range now. Wave complete already. There you go, boom. Yeah, this Eternia Crystal Wave stuff is nothing now. They definitely need to make like a cheer, uh... Oh yeah, there's more. Oh yeah, I should definitely be on this Scutlix guy so we have a little bit more mobility. So there you go. Let's place down another, uh... I don't know, should we do... Yeah, we, we did Aura Staff. And then mixed it together with Explosive last time. I guess if we try that again... And then, uh, Aura, Lightning Aura. Let's do another one like right about right there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And then we don't have any more right now, so I guess we'll just keep using the Kaleidoscope right here because it is auto-swing now. So I might as well- Like, look at this range! I'm standing, like, in the middle, basically. This takes up, like, basically half of the whole Eternian Crystal area here. This is crazy. They're not even getting out of there. They're dying immediately. This is amazing. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm like, I just need a little bit more Eternia mana and- Oh, whoa, what are these little guys, though? Ooh, I'm glad I'm on my Scutlix. I'm a little bit faster. I'm able to move a little bit more, uh, agile. Oh, and I, I did get comments from you guys about that, that UFO mount that I get from the, the UFO event and the Martian Madness event. Apparently, yeah, you are able to move, like, all over the place, like I said, but it's just, like, really slow, so it's, like, it's kind of not even worth it, honestly, so. 9,000 Ethereum Goblin, what? I did not think I killed, I literally killed over 9,000 of those. Oh, yeah, and then the Scutlix, yeah. The Scutlix uh, mount that I have right now also shoots out lasers, so that helps out a ton, too. I'm able to place down something, so I might as well put a explosive trap. Should I do it? Let's do it like right here. Boom. Actually, I put it, should, probably should have put it like right outside the other uh, thing. If I'm able to. Nah, I'm not able to afford that right there, man. I should be able to. There should be some out here, some mana. Mm, is that enough? Yep, that is enough. So if I put it like right here, boom. Literally, boom. That should be able to kill them as soon as they come out of there. Uh, I'm not going to get. Yeah, I'm, it is daytime now, so I'm not going to get the uh, werewolf bonus anymore, so that sucks. But I'll still get the Kaleidoscope out. See if anyone even survives past this little first lightning aura right here. Because <laughs> we got the lightning aura, we got my two alien guys zapping them, we got my Scutlix. Which, yeah, we have to face that direction in order for the Scutlix to do damage, so. Look at that! And then we got the Ballista over here, too. Man, I'm not even I'm not even attacking at all. I should just basically just sit here and not even do anything. <laughs> That's what I should do. Hold on, is it able to kill the wyverns? It is. Yeah, it is able to shoot like up and down and stuff like that. So that's good. It's not just straight ahead like Doom or something. So that's awesome. So I guess we'll just uh, keep collecting more of this Ethereum mana here. And then it, once we get to the last round with Betsy, that's when it's going to get really interesting. I'll tell you that much, you guys. Because she is she's flying around and stuff like that. We definitely need to use our heckin' weapons for that. We, we cannot just rely on these static defenses here. And then my Skutlix and then my two alien guys. And I didn't even get any potions or anything like that. Whoops. Probably should've got some, uh, yeah, speaking of explosives, boom, there you go. Probably should've got some potions, like an iron skin. I could still go get one if I need one, but honestly, I don't think we need one right now. <laughs> I think we're fine without it. So there you go, we got explosives, and then lightning aura there on each side. Oh yeah, we, we could place down, uh, should we be able to place down more of these, right? Oh yeah. Because it's Ethereum, uh, I was about to say, because we do have the thing where we place down like four centuries or whatever, but yeah, it costs money. I'm like, if I had the, uh, the, oh, oh, we have bosses. Where are the bosses at? They're dying. Not there. It's on this side? Yep, there it is right there. Yeah, boom. I didn't even do anything right there. Just got killed by my Skullix and my Halion zapping at him, too. And, of course, the explosives, the lightning aura thing, too. Jeez. How many waves is this again? Like, six or seven or something like that? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. I, I'm barely... I'm not even using the lights go right now. I'm able to just let all my high-tiered events, which I think they should be buffed by my, uh, like, like up here. 247 from that, 60 summon damage like every half second or something like that. Yeah, I think all those are buffed because my Valhalla Knight's armor does buff summon stuff too, right? So that's good. Centuries and summons, I think they're called. Oh, oh we got something over here. Yeah, we got a couple dino guys. Yeah, we, 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 we don't have any more extra defenses over here. It's just literally just this. <laughs> so we definitely want to get like a ballista up over here on this side. So put that about like right there. That's good. Nice. Then uh, this side's clear. Yep, wave complete. Perfect. Then we got some more Ethereum man right there. Any more Ethereum man over here? No, there isn't any over here. Man, that sucks. All right, well, we should probably get maybe should we get a flame burst here? At least one. Yeah, there you go. Put that like right next to it. 
during Crystal right there. So we have two Ballistas on each side. We have a Lightning Aura and then two Explosives on each side with them basically all in each other right there. They shouldn't be able to get past that. And of course the Ballista should be able to shoot. And of course we have our Aliens and we have my, my Scutlix shooting at him and stuff. Like if they survive the Explosives, there's another... Ex oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it, is it time for the... Uh Oh, yep, it is time for the big ogre guy. Uh oh he's throwing that? Oh! oh wait, how did I still get hit by that? That must be like a huge splash. I'm not even going to hit him. I'm not even going to hit him. Boom. Oh, boom. There you go, dead. <laughs> a little bit too early right there. Whoops. But yeah, I'm able to kill these like, ogres without even trying. It's crazy. Where are the other ogres at? Any ogres over here? Any ogre here? <laughs> yeah, the ogre's on the left side. I see that he's throwing stuff over there. I might as well help out if I need to. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you see the aliens over here. Oh, yeah, then... Whenever I hit something with a kaleidoscope, it should make my uh, my aliens do a little bit more damage, right? I think so, because it has like a thing called like tag or something like that, like tag damage. Like if I tag him with a kaleidoscope, it should do... I don't know how much damage... Oh, Behemoth the Traveling Merchant arrived during a literal war going on, right? <laughs> nice timing there. Then I'm not even going to attack him anymore. I'm just going to let my aliens continue to attack him for... Oh man, I saw like a 250-something damage right there. That might have been a ballista that did that. Yeah, there you go. Now the ogre's down. Wave 5 is down. I think it's wave 7 that uh, Betsy or whatever her name is comes out. So we do need to prepare for that here in just a bit. We do still have sharpening. We do still have the bewitching table on for another 4 minutes. So we're good in that regard. Look at all the stuff up there we have. <laughs> Jeez. Let's keep getting more stuff over here. Maybe get a couple uh, a couple more ballistas or something like that, I suppose. So let's get, uh, let's get another ballista here. Yeah, let's place one there. Boom. Place one here. Boom. And then we'll get another... Let's get another flame burst on this side. So there you go. So it's it's pretty uh, symmetrical on each side right there, which is great. Yeah, t yeah, they have to get about right there before the ballista starts hitting them. Unfortunately, so that sucks. Oh, whoa. yeah, he's shooting at us from. Yeah, look at this. They don't even get really that close. They get killed by the ballistas there. Jeez. At least with the ogre, he makes it about halfway before he gets heck and killed. Golly. Where's the other ogre at? There's another one over here. Uh, no, it's just, yeah, it's just a floating guy on the magic carpet or whatever that is right there, yeah. Alright, well, yeah, we need to pick up more of those, uh, mana things, and then we'll place down... Man, I don't know, what should we get? More flame bursts or something like that? I don't know, but there is an ogre on the left side, I do see that. It's not there, because obviously he's over here then. Man, I got hit by a second spit or was sn snot or whatever that is. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, man, I landed right in it again right there! Man, that sucks! Lightning bug banner. What? Ethereum lightning bug banner? I guess I killed like 50 of those again, huh? Alright, let's hit him with the, uh... There we go, hitting him with the Galactico. So our aliens do a little bit more damage to him. Yeah, we do. How much damage does this do again? 343 damage. Golly, that is unreal. <laughs> how much damage that does. And it's... Look at how fast it is. And it's auto-swing. Golly. Like, that is basically replacing the godly solar... It's... Gato egg? Gato egg? Oh, yeah, isn't that, uh... Wait, no. Pet Gato. Do we have a pet cat after that? I guess so, huh? All right, well that's interesting. Oh yeah, then we should definitely uh, maybe I'll shoot the there go, maybe I'll shoot Betsy with the uh, the the gun there, lower her defense a little bit. Oh, and speaking of such, boom, there she is. You might want to get off of the uh, Scutlix here in just a sec, you guys. Well, let's get the uh, kaleidoscope. Hopefully, do some damage to her. Oh, whoops, I'm spacing the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. This thing, it does. Oh, oh, oh. flames falling from the sky and stuff right there. The Ethereum uh, crystal right there is doing great. It's still got basically full heck and health. Sheesh. I haven't even healed up yet. I might, I might, yeah, let's heal up right there. Boom. So we healed up a little bit right there. All of our, uh, oh man, I didn't even place down the, uh, the tier, whatever, uh, 30 Ethereum mana I could spend right now. I didn't place any of that yet, but, uh, boom, there you go. She's down. Whoa, what is that? Godly Sky. Oh my god, I got another one of those. Wait, Dragon's Fury. Sleepy Octopod. Oh, yeah, that's this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot this was a thing. How did it work again? Let's see. Right click while holding for an alternate attack, so. So holding. So that would be this. No, I just dropped it. <laughs> Man! Hold on. Dragon's Fury. Oh, yeah, okay, so I do need to have that, like, equipped or something right there, right? Yeah! So that's what that is. And it's melee damage. Ooh. I don't know. Do I want to have something like this? I'm killing those butterflies. I'm going to get his godly, which is good. Betsy Mask. Did I have that last time? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. Well, we have it now, so that's good. We have a pet gato right here. Is that a pet cat? Then we have hard monks, uh, then sleeping octopod, and then another during crystal. Oh, yeah, we're up to 100. Yeah, we got 100 uh, defender medals during that. So, yeah, we can get definitely get that one, uh, whatever it's called. 
shinobi like helmet or whatever that is. So we should be able to do that. What about the Gato egg though? Oh, it's like a flying cat with like a propeller coming out of his head or something like that. What? <laughs> I don't know, what do I think about that? What did we have beforehand? We had the, uh, we had the dragon egg. I don't know. I'm like, that's kind of funny. We got ourselves like a cat. That's just like hanging out there. He's got propellers on his head like that. I don't know. I'm like, I'll, 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 I'll spawn in my guy and then I'll keep him hidden or whatever. Yeah, there you go. I keep him hidden. So let's put all this up. Mushroom cat, put that up as well. There was a superior sleepy octopod thing. And then I guess I'll put that up in. Yep, that is melee. What was that again? Oh, yeah, it, like summons in the. Uh... Oh, yeah, like, yeah, it hits the ground or something like that, right? Yeah, that's what that does. Yeah. I guess I'll put that up in the melee weapons. I think we already have uh I might have sold it actually now that I think about it. I don't know. But I I I need to go I guess I'll put up the attorney crystal up in storage, but I'll buy that one thing from this guy. So what was that again? Shinobi infiltrator's helmet. Yeah. Increases the max number of sentries by two, so we can still place down four, I think. Either three or four sentries after this. Is this uh three sentries? Or what? Oh, it might have been because I had the bullet no? I didn't have the bewitching table for that. It might have been a part of the, uh, let's, let's get that. There, there you go, nice. And I guess we can myth how many we could place down right now, but sell the goblin banner, lightning bug banner, wither beast banner, dark mage trophy. I have so many of those. I have an extra one of these in my inventory. Might as well sell it. Boom, there you go. <laughs> let's go put up everything over here in storage. So now we have that shinobi helmet there, so that's good. Let's go put up the uh, lightning aura staff, explosive trap. Keep the ballista in my inventory. Like, we put it, like, right there, I think, right? Then we... I think that's how that went. Then we put the godly flame burst back up. Yep. And then... Yep, that's how our inventory was previously, so that's good. And we put up the extra Eternian crystal there, and the defender medals with 61 of those, so we could almost get another piece of armor, so that's good. So, kind of want to test out. Like, even though this has... Oh, yeah, we need to upgrade it, right? No, yeah, you can't upgrade this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't reforge it. Yeah. So, I guess we'll go get the DPS meter and go test some stuff out. So where would that be? That would be accessory. Or no, I was in tools. Yeah, put up in tools because it's, it's basically a tool, right? So it helps out there. So I guess we can see how much damage we do with something like, oh, God. So we're doing 2,000, 2,400, 2,200, 2,400 DPS. 2,700, 2,600, 2,800, 2,900. It hit 3K there for a second. Oh, my gosh. That is insane. Is this kaleidoscope any better, though? I don't know. Let's wait for it to kind of cool down a little bit. Oh, yeah. And then look at that. It's doing the constantly 25, 25, 25. Then this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's way less. Why is it so less, though? That's like almost a third. Oh, my gosh. Like, it does so much more upfront damage, but I guess it's just. What, what, what did this do again? Hold on. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it, it does. It hits it so many times because it's like flying through it and then back through it again. So I guess, yeah, the Kaleisko maybe isn't as good as I thought it was, even though it does like double the damage of this. It's just that it... And then, yeah, summon tag damage and then summon tag critical strike chance. Those go up. Summons will focus to strike enemies. And it is murderous, so it is it is pretty good in that regard. This is just godly, so godly. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to use that for the Moon Lord. Sheesh. But if we switch over to the shinobi infiltrator helmet there you go switch over to that we had oh my god consistently overthrow oh, well, well never mind oh it's because i'm hitting the bunnies in the background it's going up to over a thousand or three thousand dps well it's consistently over three thousand dps right now guys oh well it's, it's starting to go down a little bit i guess some of the criticals are not getting a uh, hit but it is definitely hanging out oh and then we hit a butterfly right there so it might have gone up a little bit i don't know I'm not noticing it right now. Hmm, let, let's, let's check with the kaleidoscope, though. Oh, yeah, the kaleidoscope. Oh, no, never mind. It's going back down. Oh, then, yeah, the traveling merchant just departed. I don't know. I'm not noticing it. 20% melee and minion damage. Like, my minions should do 20% more damage. 3 and 2 summon damage now? Is that more than what we had before? Hold on. 302. 286. Ooh. So yeah, this this does go up, even though we don't have. Can yeah, can if I switch over to the infiltrator helmet, am I able to place down four of these again, or is it just three? Yeah, it's just three. Ooh. So yeah, that was part of the man. Look at all the butterflies. I need to get these guys. 
Look at all of them. Like, holy heck, that's a lot of them. Man! Look, look at that! Like, I don't even use butterflies when I go fishing, but hey, it's a pretty good backup if I need more uh, ammo or <laughs> uh, bait. I'm like, I have so much of the enchanted uh, worms or whatever they're called. I just don't need them, right? I'm not seeing any more right now. But yeah, it, is that trade off worth it, though? To get rid of. Well, then again, the ballistas do, like, I don't know, like 20 more damage each. But that means getting rid of one ballista, and then I'm not even really noticing. And then we lose a little bit of defense there. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm like, at least we have auto swing here. Uh, this does 12% increased melee damage and 14% well, increased uh, melee damage. Then 12% increased speed. Then we have auto swing and then inflicts fire damage. So yeah, shouldn't this inc inflict fire damage? Why is it not catching on fire? Hmm, I don't know. Should be because we have the spike fire gauntlet there. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely have to consider. I'll, I'll definitely have to keep doing more modifications to my my loadout. I guess you can call this over here. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about the vol. And I guess we could try it out with the. Uh, we have another helmet over here. Yeah, the chlorophyte mask. I guess I could try it out with that too and see like, am I going to notice any more damage or what? Probably not because it does the same. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, it does six. This one does sixteen percent melee damage. The Valhalla Knight's helm does ten percent, I think, right? And then, oh, it's actually. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm closer I'm doing more damage? Yeah, I think it's because how close I am to this thing. Because look at that, I'm, th I'm up to 34, 3200. I'm basically right next- look at that! 3600? If I'm like right up next to it like that, yeah, we do a lot of damage. Let's switch back over to the Valhalla Knight's Helm. Oh, wait! Yeah, see, look at this, we're back to just under 3000, occasionally hitting it every now and then. Oh, wait! Now it's Pretty consistently over 3,000. Eh, I don't know, it might, it still might just be up to how the criticals are being hit. Then we hit a squirrel right there. Now this now, oh wait, no. Consistently over 3,000 though. 3,000 DPS there. I'd say 32 to 33. Oh wait, right as I say that, it goes down to 3,000. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't seen it go under 3,000 yet. With the Shinobi, or, uh, Shino Shinobi Infiltrator helmet there. Well, with the chlorophyte mask. And this is just assuming we're landing every shot on the, the Moon Lord. This is this is kind of comparable to the uh, Shinobi armor we had just had. And we have, oh wait, no, never mind, it just fell, but, oh yeah, see, look at that, fell below 3,000 there. Hmm. At least with this one, Critical Strike goes up, so maybe that makes up for it. This one doesn't do anything with Critical Strike. This one doesn't either. Hmm. You know, I'm going to wear the Shinobi armor right now. I'm going to wear that. We're, go we're, we're going to do a little bit more damage with our ballistas. And shouldn't our uh, aliens do more? 75 summon damage there. Valhalla, 71. And then we switch to Chlorify just for the means, just to test it out. Yep, 67 goes down because it doesn't benefit the uh, summons at all. So 270 right there with the uh, regular armor that doesn't do anything. Then goes up to 286 with the Valhalla Knight's armor, which also benefits the, the ballista specifically. And then up to 302. With the, uh, the Shinobi helm. I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to use this for Moon Lord, you guys. This might be my armor loadout, if you want to call it that. For the Moon Lord. Incre oh, yeah. Increase of life regeneration from that, too. I forgot about that. Then, uh, 20%. Oh, yeah. 20% melee critical strike chance. Jeez. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to keep that. That's definitely... I'm going to keep the Shinobi... I don't know. How does, how does the rest of that Shinobi armor do? I don't know what... It might just be the helmet that I was interested in there. 20% increased minion damage and melee speed. Yeah, compared to this, it does a uh, 30% increased minion damage and massively increased. Yeah, I'll keep that. Even though this does have two more defense, but at the same time, eh, we just got rid of 10 defense to get a little bit more damage, right? So, and then infiltrator pants. Min 20% increased minion damage, critical strike chance, and 30% increased movement speed. Comparable to this, that does the 20% increased minion damage and movement speed. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep what I have right now. I'm definitely going to keep this, and then. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if the next episode I'm ready. I guess I'll put that right there. I don't know if next episode I'm ready to take on the second Moon Lord, you guys. I'm like I might be. There may be. If you guys have any more suggestions for what I do before defeating that final pillar and, and then spawning in the Moon Lord battle, so oh yeah, I did uh, yeah one major thing I guess is that you guys did say yeah you definitely want to lower your sky bridge. So yeah, I, I'll probably end up just doing that off camera. Like I don't know how much lower I'll make that, but yeah, you guys just said yeah, just lower it. 
that'll definitely help me out uh, a lot there. So maybe like somewhere like here in the middle, like between the top of the Christmas tree and the the bridge itself. Maybe I'll put it like right there or something like that. You know, that that's probably where I'll end up putting it. Let's try and there you go. Put up all the butterflies. So I'll I'll do that between this episode, and next episode. And then I don't know. Next episode, are we going to be taking on the Moon Lord just to kind of see? Can we even do it? Maybe we have iron skin potions. We have uh. We have a regen potion in here somewhere, or at least I could probably look up a recipe and we might be able to make some and that might help us out a bit. And we already have, I don't know if I need to put campfires up there because we already have uh, these things, the heart lantern things. Maybe I'll put it up there in between the heart lanterns just to kind of fill in the void and light it up a little bit and maybe it also help it. I don't know if it stacks, but I, I guess I'll just place it anyways because how heckin' cheap they are, but. Yeah, next episode, maybe we're going to be taking on that Moon Lord for the very first time, you guys, with our current... Oh yeah, then I need to see, like, what I'm going to do over here. Am I going to get rid of the Obsidian Shield and put the Hard Cross Necklace there? We are in Knockback. I don't know, Knockback and then the two defense and then the 3% damage. Is that... Well, then I need to I need to modify this Hard Cross Necklace so we, uh... Oh wait, yeah, it's hard, so it does uh, one defense. I need to get, I, I need to see if I can get anything better out of that, honestly. Don't we have another one of those necklaces over here? I feel like we do. Maybe it's over here. Uh, no, yeah, it's just a regular one. Don't even have a modifier on it, so yeah. I definitely want to see if I can get maybe one that does more damage or something like that. Maybe, maybe even more defense or something. Just to make up for the 10 defense that we lost this episode, but... I hope we're ready. <laughs> I at least want to see how it goes. If we fail miserably, at least we'll be able to use that as a starting point to say, hey, we need to improve this, that, and the other, but... For right now, I'm just going to end off this episode right here and get you guys' comments and, and suggestions and all that kind of jazz for next episode. So that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring that bell, especially because next episode, you guys will not want to miss this potential Moon Lord battle we're going to be doing next episode. If I'm, if, 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 I, if you guys even believe in me that I can do a next episode, we're definitely going to have to try it out next episode. So definitely want to ring that bell so you guys don't miss that because YouTube will send you a notification as soon as that video comes out so you won't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there.